Hey, good morning. Welcome back to Trucking with Velox 18. We're going to go and make this delivery right now. That's the first thing we're going to do. Then we got to find a load out of Carlisle, PA. That's where we are right now. Well, we're like at a truck stop down the road from Carlisle, PA. But uh, let me back up so I don't get run over. All right. Morning, morning. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go over there. We're going to drop this load off at uh, CNS Carlisle. So I'm, I'm thinking that's CNS Wholesale. Uh, I didn't know. You know, I don't know what's West Coast specific and what's nationwide. I thought CNS was kind of a smaller uh, distribution uh, network out there on the West Coast, but I guess not, maybe not, because this says CNS uh, Carlisle. And uh, CNS in California sucks. So <laughs> we'll see how this goes, but uh, I'll go over there. We'll, uh, we'll check out the load board. We'll see what's going on with the load board, and uh, we'll see what we can find. It's a Monday, so the load board should be chock full of good loads. And uh, we'll see, it's about six o'clock in the morning. Our appointment's at 6.30, it's just down the road. So uh, let's go do that now. We'll roll over there, you guys roll the music. Let's go. All right, we're gonna weave our way out of this uh, truck stop. And uh, get on our way. Uh, for those of you who uh, might have watched my previous two videos, uh, my dad still. Come on, dude. You're connected. Why? That beep, that high pitched beep, is uh, when my my ELD thinks that my phone isn't connected to it. It starts freaking out. And I'm like, dude, it's you're right here. It's all in the cab. Come on, dude. It's not that hard. Uh, my dad is still home. Uh, on hospice, uh, he's still holding on. Um, he, uh, they, there was some issues with his pain management, uh, his dosages on his his morphine and, and stuff like that. And he's got a tumor on his knee that's causing him just immense pain, and uh, so he's just fighting through it. Like <laughs> like he's 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 one of the toughest dudes I've ever met, just in general. He just doesn't. He just, like, and he's not trying to be a tough guy, you know, he's not like, it's not like out of a, out of a place of like insecurity or anything. It's, uh, it's more just like, he doesn't, he doesn't get, get flustered. Uh, he doesn't get, I, I have no clue what, what's going on right here. This guy's spinning around. This other guy is, I don't know. I just, I'm trying to get out of here, dude. You guys are in a whole little cluster over there. Ridiculous. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, all right. But yeah, so, um, so I'm still, I'm, I'm going to be hit and miss on recording today because, um, I'm going to be uh, on Zoom calls. As soon as I get over to the receiver right now, I'm going to hop on a Zoom call and, I'll be I'll be with them as much as I can. I mean, I know being there digitally is not the same as being there, but um, for me, it's it's cathartic. It's it's therapeutic to to be a part of that in in any way that I can, and and I'm hopeful that my digital presence is at least a little bit uh, you know helpful in supporting my my mom and my my brother uh, as they shoulder the the weight of this this whole thing uh, you know it's it's tough so anyway I'm gonna get on down the road and uh, we're gonna get to uh, let's see yeah, I think it's we gotta spin around on this next one all right Right, I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. But uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys when we get get uh, get unloaded, and hopefully we'll have time uh, to look at the load board, and I'll show you guys kind of what we're working with today. Uh, I haven't showed you the load boards yet um, since I moved out here to the south or to, you know to Tennessee, but I figure today's a pretty good day to show you guys the the DAT load board and see what we got up here in Pennsylvania. Uh, I know it's gonna be good because, uh, uh, well, I mean, at least the, the volume of loads. 
uh, because there, there was even volume loads over the weekend coming out of here. So uh, not a bad place. You know, York, Pennsylvania is really close to here. Um, you know, Allentown's within 100 miles. Um, there's there's some there's some freight you know moving around these parts. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what we we'll do. Sound like a plan, Stan? All right, I'll catch up with you guys later. All right. We got uh, we got checked in, and uh, this is just one of those grocery warehouses, man. You got to park, then you got to walk up to the guard shack. You got to check in, then you got to walk back to your truck. There's probably, uh, man, I don't know, 40 trucks out here right now, and more are coming in as we speak. So it's a pretty uh, pretty busy day, pretty hectic, hectic morning, and um, uh, so this. There's like, there's like three different names on the stuff. So on the building, it's the giant company or whatever it is over here. And then Great Lakes Cheese on the on the actual bill of lading, it says uh, um, that the uh, it's it's to be delivered to uh, Carlisle Dairy, a hold distribution, or a hold distribution, a hold. I don't know. And then. Um, and then on my rate confirmation, it says CNS Carlisle. So I'm like, I don't know. Somewhere in there is, is some, you know, one of these situations where you don't know who actually is who and what's going on. But uh, I figure get myself uh, um, checked in, and we'll uh, we'll hit the load boards. It's only 6:30, so um, and I'm on Eastern time, so it's not like you know 6 30 on the west coast i used to be able to find um i used to be able to find uh, uh loads at 6 30 in the morning you know because it would be 9 30 in the morning out here on the east coast so brokers would be up and at them and doing their thing but i doubt i'll be able to find good loads um i, get, I just got a text message my dad just woke up this morning and he's a little confused so I'm gonna hop off, I'm gonna hop on that Zoom call with them and uh, I'll catch up with you guys and we'll look for loads a little bit later on. All right, they made quick work of that. We're done, it's only uh, 8.15. And I'll be honest, I could have been out of here about 30 minutes ago at least, um, but I had, a, uh, I had an issue uh, with my uh, EFS check. All right, um, came back over here to the Flying J where I slept. I'm gonna hop back on the low board, and uh, right now, let me refresh it. Let me refresh it. It's uh, there are 500, 500 loads uh, within um, within a very short distance of you, 100 miles. So we should we should have some luck. I saw one load. Uh, when I was sitting at the red light, it was like a ridiculously wrong, long red light. So I refreshed it and it was a $3,200 load that went down to Robert, Louisiana. So just over a thousand miles. And uh, I was like, man, that's about three bucks a mile. So, uh, but that one got scooped up super quick, like super quick. Um, Cause by the time I refreshed it over here, it's gone. So eh, it is what it is. And uh, you know, we'll, we'll just keep on looking for a load. But the later in the day it gets, I mean, with this many loads around, I know there's a lot of trucks here, but there's a lot of loads. So someone's gonna want to put some money on a load. I'm I'm willing to bet money. I'm gonna sit here at this uh, Flying J until um, until I find something. So that's the plan right now. I'm gonna hop on the Zoom call with my parents and look for loads. All right, we got ourselves a. Uh, we got ourselves a load, so we're gonna come this way over here and uh, head on down to Carlisle. Picks up right here. It's not a very good paying load. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't find, couldn't find anything good. Uh, that one load I talked about that was over three dollars a mile um, that someone had picked up going down to Robert, Louisiana. No one picked it up. You know what it was? The guy took it down right after he posted it because he realized he didn't post it as a team load. He needed a team on it. So, you know, 
that's what uh, that's what that's what's going on up here in Pennsylvania right now. So there must be just too many trucks. You know, a lot of these brokers use DAT and other dat uh, databases to kind of measure how many loads are going in, how many trucks are going into a certain market, so they can uh, affect the um, the supply and demand of that place. So I was going to hold out later till later in the day and just wait till someone got desperate. Uh, but I ended up finding a load for 275 a mile um, that will take me back to Ohio, just a short little one hopper. Um, so I decided to do that instead because I didn't feel like waiting, uh, you know, until the end of the day. And then if I, if I get skunked, then I get skunked and I'd rather keep the truck moving and have another chance to put a, a load on the truck tomorrow uh, once this load delivers. So I'm going to go with the, uh, you know, the volume route and <laughs> try and make try and do as many as, as many miles and as many loads as I can do um, and then uh, maybe at a lower rate per mile than I'd like uh, rather than the uh, you know trying to get the best rate per mile on on a load and maybe sitting here for a day because uh, you know ultimately uh, revenue is king and you gotta you gotta try and try and get, get the revenue up and obviously you can't run a thousand miles a day at two dollars a mile just to get the revenue you know you gotta you gotta try and figure a, a middle ground there where you're doing uh keeping the truck moving but also paying your bills so i think that's what we're doing so far so we'll get over here we'll get get this load picked up uh, i think it's some chocolate or some candy or something like that and then uh then we'll get on our way um Dad's still still hanging on, still doing good. I um, mean, he's not doing good, but he's still he's still hanging on. And I'm wearing the uh, Jenkins Family Crest shirt, boom. So we're uh, representing today. I'm proud of the the man he is and the the way that he's uh, uh, suffering, um, and and the way he's he's looking death in the face and uh, literally smiling back. And uh, having joy, it's uh, it's inspiring. It's inspiring to see, and it's uh, bittersweet because it is so um, it is so like I don't know powerful. Uh, it has, it's having a, a powerful effect on my life. Just watching it through Zoom and being far away, um, and obviously it's bitter because he's he's leaving. He's gone. So. Um, yeah, we're going to keep on trucking, go pick up this load, and uh, get on our way. Let's go. All right, we got it in the dock, and um, they had a sign, no video recording on premises, so I won't record anything outside this truck, and uh, this will be... Uh, this will be where we get loaded. Hopefully we get loaded pretty quick and uh, we'll be on our way back into Ohio. So I'm gonna start looking for a load out of Ohio for tomorrow and we'll see what happens there. But it's 1.30 uh, or one o'clock. So hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully I can find something quick because brokers wanna go home. <laughs> so hopefully we can find something for tomorrow. Let's see how long this takes.
Good morning, everybody. Um, we're in Marengo, Ohio, and uh, I didn't. Uh, I just I just drove yesterday. Uh, I was on the phone the whole time, and then when I got here, I hopped on the computer, and uh, I'm here at the uh, pilot, just down the road from the Dollar General Distribution Center in Marengo, Ohio. And uh, well, um, it. It was uh, it was a tough tough day yesterday, so I didn't record it all. And uh, last night at 11:30, my dad passed away, so we're um, you know we're we're doing okay, but uh, it feels weird to be working. It feels super weird to be working, but that's the decision I made. And and he was cool with it. I'm good with it. I just uh, I don't know I don't know uh, what to say about it. It just feels weird. So we're gonna go down the street, make this delivery, and uh, we'll get get on our way. We gotta go trucking. All right, so we'll just head on down the road here to make this delivery. Um, yeah, like I said, it just feels weird today. Um, just because I, it's like the, uh, you know, one of the one of the gnarliest. Um, events of in the history of my family just happened, you know. A lot of people in my family live to an old age. And, uh, you know, when, when great-grandparents pass away, it's it's like, you know, my great-grandma lived darn near to 100, I think. I forget how exactly how old she was, but she was, uh, she lived a good, long, long, long life. And then uh, both of my grandparents were, um, I want to say, uh, mid mid to late 80s and so um, and so you know having my dad pass away at uh, 66 years old is uh, you know it's a little it's 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 early it's young man it's young it's really young so um, so it's kind of one of those things where it's like uh, you know, it's it's super gnarly, and it and it feels and it feels like you know a pretty uh, uh, a heavy day for my entire family, and I'm just out here working, and so uh, that's that doesn't it just feels weird. It just feels weird. Like I've second guessed my decision to do this every day. Um, my dad never made me second guess it. He, when I was talking to him, you know, he, we're good. We uh, we had really good goodbyes when I moved from California, and I knew when I was moving from California that I probably wouldn't be able to afford to make it back if it was quick. And the way that it was happening right at the end before we moved, it looked like, man, this is happening really fast. This is going to happen like right after I move. And sure enough. Uh, you know, it just it, he he went he went uh, it, it it went downhill so fast, so quickly. He toughed it out for so long before. Uh, oh, it's it's Dollar Tree, not not Dollar General. My bad. Um, but uh, yeah, he toughed it out for so long, and just like and just like you know grit his teeth and, and and got through it for so long it was uh, it was weird when you know it's like finally his his body kind of like gave in a little bit and uh, we were just like but we were just talking to him you know whatever like it, it like it just it seemed like it progressed so fast at the end but really I think he was just toughing it out and uh, we we didn't see how bad it was until the end. I think is all that it really was. So anyway, we'll get in here and uh, we'll get checked in. And uh, family dollar dollar tree, and we'll get this thing delivered. And uh, then we got a, a load to pick up in Columbus. So we got a full day. Uh, it's just it's just kind of weird. Just kind of weird. But uh, anyway, all right, I'll catch up with you guys later. No, my first time.
Thank you very much. I told you guys before, I appreciate thorough instructions, spoken clearly and slowly so I can understand them. <laughs> when, when, they, uh, when they give you the spiel, because they give it a hundred times or two hundred times a day, whatever, and they, uh, when they just say it all fast, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna turn right, then you're gonna make another right, then you're gonna make a left, then you're gonna go down. The door's gonna be in the corner on the left. You're gonna park parking C as in cat, C as in cat. And you know, and you're just like, wait, what? What did you just? All right, yeah, right, right, left, C, door in the corner. I think I got it. Sometimes you're like, can I get five dollars? Five dollars here. C dollars, seven dollars, seven dollars, eight dollars, eight dollars, eight dollars. Um, <clears throat> she said. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, so the receiving office. What is that? That's G. G. All right. I think I see C. Forty-one. Sounds like a good number to me. All right, we'll go check in. See what door they want me in. All right, we got it uh, backed into the dock. Dolly down, disconnected. Slandum, slandum tid. <laughs> Tandem slid. Uh oh, it's gonna be one of those days. Slandum tid, guys. And uh, we got the wheels trying. So uh, once they start unloading, it'll go red. Then when it goes green again, I'll go pick up my paperwork. And I don't think it's gonna take too long. I really don't. I think we're, uh, I think we're gonna be out here quick. All right, and quick it, it was. It's been about, um, it's been about 30 minutes. So I'm getting out of here. Family Dollar, Marengo, Ohio. Uh, getting out of here early. And then the broker for the next load called and said, Hey, uh, the shipper was wondering if you could get there early. I'm like, uh, yeah, most likely. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get on down the road today, I think, man. Yeah. So, anyway, all right. I'm going to crank this thing up, get this thing hooked up, and uh, we'll be on our way. So, looks like the uh, receiving clerk went on lunch break but before she did she set my paperwork on the desk there so I could just come in and grab it <laughs> that's awesome man I like this place I really like this place so quick so fast getting getting in and out super fast they were thoughtful and left my paperwork there instead of having to wait for her to come back and break so uh, it's all good man it's all good had a good experience here. All right, we're headed uh, down to Columbus now. Uh, I stopped over here at the uh, truck stop and I finished editing my video only to have um, only to have the computer uh, freeze on me and lose everything. So kind of upset about that. No, let me rephrase that really upset about that because uh, I spent parts of the last two days trying to edit that video in between like whatever downtime I had which I didn't have any downtime because any downtime I had I was spending time with my family on zoom so it's like kind of a lot of sacrifice went into this stupid video and uh, well not this video that we're watching the one previous to this and uh, and then so I may have I might, I may have cussed out my computer a little bit <laughs> but I'm good, man. I'm good. I don't. I'm. I'm good. I should be working right now. <laughs> uh, flying off the handle at inanimate objects. 
I think that's like uh, that's like in the grief handbook somewhere. But uh, anyway, kind of frustrating though. So uh, I'm gonna get down here to Columbus, check in early, check in two hours early at Lineage Logistics, and try to get loaded up, and hopefully get loaded up uh, fairly quickly. But I'll work on the video some more there, and uh, we gotta still try to find a load for tomorrow. Uh, getting out of North Carolina, but we're looking for a PM pickup tomorrow, so there will be some stuff that pops up in the morning. Uh, right now, nobody wants to pay anything. Uh, the best paying loads kind of put you back up into no man's land and like uh, Western Western PA, uh, West Virginia, uh, those places where there's not a lot of freight coming out <laughs> and uh, where you're kind of like, okay, getting closer to the weekend and you know we got Miles's 18th birthday is Friday and uh, we've got a, a party planned for him and then uh, yeah, I gotta plus I, I, I need to be home I need to go home and get some hugs from my family and stuff so uh, so I'm trying to figure that out I'm trying to see what what I can do what's the best best way to do it and then uh, shoot well, um, yeah, so I'll catch up with you guys when we get down the road because I've talked a lot already. Because that's what I do. All right, we got here a little after 2 o'clock. Telling me to back it into a door already, so we're going to get it into that door and uh, get loaded up. All right, they loaded me up quick over here. I got my paperwork. It is uh, loud, um, but it is uh, a little before 3.30, so... We'll get out of here, we'll get started on our way trucking down to North Carolina. So, yeah, this, uh, this, this is good. This is a good thing. Loaded quickly, I like it. Let's hit the rope. All right, just uh, cruising here uh, through West Virginia. And uh, kind of been cool, man, kind of been cool. But I'm gonna take the uh, West Virginia Turnpike it is uh, it is so much longer to go around this toll road guys and it's not an expensive toll so I'm paying the toll normally I try and get around them not worth it not this time not this time so let's see we'll uh, get ready and we'll We'll pay the toll with cash and uh, keep on trucking. I stopped at a truck stop to uh, uh, to get some cash. So so yeah, this is what we're doing, man. This is what we're doing. I'm just uh, listening to uh, Pink Floyd. Dark Side of the Moon, and uh, let's see, two and three are easy pass only, so I'm in lane one. Lane one. Um, but anyway, that album came out in 1973, so my dad was, uh, what, uh, 17 years old, so he, uh, It was one of the more interesting albums he had in the garage when I dug through his albums. That one, and me and my brother were just talking about, he had a Blue Oyster Cult. And so uh, those are some albums that we, that we, uh, that I remember from him. So anyway, anyway, that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of listening to some of the old school stuff and, uh, and uh, trying not to cry, trying not to cry. Making this drive on new roads I've never been down, and uh, you know, going through West Virginia. So of course, John Denver is just in my mind nonstop. And then it doesn't help that West Virginia just like full on embraces it, and they just have like all these, you know, country road signs and John Denver and all this other stuff all over the place. It's like their state song. But uh, anyway. Alright. I will catch up with you guys down the road. 
All right. Um, parked up over here, uh, just inside North Carolina, Mount Airy, um, just at the bottom of Fancy Gap. And um, yeah, we're shooting down the 77 towards Charlotte, and then we'll cut over to Concord, uh, just outside of Charlotte tomorrow, and we'll go deliver this load. But we're gonna cut this video off here. That'll be on tomorrow's video because um, I've got too much footage already, and so I'm gonna end this video here. We'll break down numbers, in tomorrow's video if not in tomorrow's video then the following video because uh we're kind of just stacking up lows now we gotta just try to keep the truck moving because the rates aren't great and um i was reading some guys on uh in a facebook group and they were just like i'm not even trucking this week that the rates are dumb so i'm not the only one out here struggling to find good rates this week um that's a cool sound truck um but anyway uh so it's, it seems like it's it's just kind of the kind of week it is um you know, I felt like the volumes were okay, but I don't know these lanes, so I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't know what it's supposed to be. I don't know what normal is. So, um, anyway, we uh, we will um, keep keep trucking tomorrow. And uh, I'm parked on the side of a stinking on ramp because the uh, the truck stop was full. So my wife just texted me, "Are you just parked on the side of the road?" I'm like, yeah, this is where I'm gonna sleep. Hopefully I don't get runned over. Hopefully no one comes and hits me. But uh, anyway, uh, that's it for this video. We'll break down the numbers in another video. Love you guys. Peace out. See you tomorrow.